Quiet in Rochester and our parent company, Time Warner Cable, are working to connect a million minds. It's a nationwide effort to focus kids on science, technology, engineering, and math. A great example is the first robotics competition. Saturday was the regional competition at RIT. 44 teams from as far away as Michigan and even Canada, with only five moving on. But as YNN Sheba Clark, along with photojournalist Jeff Hampson, explain, this year the rookies came ready. We're going to get ready for match number 52. It's the reign of the rookies at this year's regional robotics competition. For the first time, the Rochester School for the Deaf came to compete as Robocom X. Wow, it's really exciting. It's been a lot of fun. Making a mark as the first hearing impaired team, Robocom X has already won its first imagery award for team spirit. You can see the hands waving all around the stadium and other teams were, have been really supportive. They've been absolutely great, One than we, more than we even expected it would be. Coach Wendy Daniel says building a robot in six weeks to play soccer in this competition wasn't easy, but they were ready to overcome barriers and take on the challenge. Of course, one big barrier is communication, but we already had planned on that. We um, had people ready to fingerspell, we had paper and pencil ready, um, we had ABC cards that we passed out to other teams so they could learn to fingerspell with us, so we were ready to face those barriers before we even got there. The For another rookie team, the McQuaid High School Igniters, fear is not an option. We came in today um, feeling really strong, made sure our robot was all up, uh, up to uh, par, running well, and we uh, ran probably above, above average um, compared to other robots. The Igniters say they're already winners. They were the recipients of the Rookie Inspiration Award. I think that now that we have this experience, that now we're going to really fly in the next year. While only five teams out of 44 will move on to a worldwide competition, it's not about winning or losing. Rather, what these students take away from the game. I've really learned a whole lot altogether, and I've really thought more about my future now that I really want to do something with technology. And the teamwork it takes to play. The whole intent of FIRST is to show kids in a sporting-like format, which they see all the time, that there's things they can do with science, engineering, and math. Sheba Clark, YNN.